Charles Davis. Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Detroit Lions. A couple of 2-1 and one teams set to square off, and we're underway here in NFL Week 4. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And I'll bet right now it's just one thought in his mind. Win, win the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? touchdown passes two last touchdown week. Two touchdown passes, but when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. First and ten, Stafford. And his first pass is incomplete. And the big boys up front in the trenches, what do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Second and 10 now from the 27. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. A perfectly executed crossing route. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target. And it's second down. A look now at the starting 11 on defense for Dallas. It's quite a unit, number one in the NFL against the pass. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. And Charles, we get a look here at the key inactives, and I tell you what, a big list for being this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back, and now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys who have to play for them, the next man up mentality kicks in, and those guys take care of business. High throw, but the catch is made. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now, Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing again, Stafford. And that's complete to Luke Wilson. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Stafford. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and it'll make it a second down. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. 
But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. No gain at all on the play there. And that brings up fourth. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So the field goal what winds up to be an 11 play drive well partner that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points so i just wonder are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone get you six that's fielded in the end zone a nice little juke and the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. So here are the Cowboys now, ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by Dak Prescott, the 135th pick of the draft back in 2016 from Mississippi State. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. On first and 10, Prescott. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A good pick up there, a 22. One play has him up 40 already, and another first and 10. A first down throw for Prescott. And he finds his target, Terrence Williams. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Prescott looks to throw on first. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he works it past the th almost to the 25. The numbers for Zeke from last week. Nine carries, 124 yards. And the way they ran the ball in last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Ran a perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play. We've hit the end of quarter one. Three nothing is our score. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. Three. 
Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Quandre Diggs there defensively. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. The Cowboys will turn it over now to Dan Bailey for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three -three. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on it. I know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the, start? It, it, what was the return on it? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. Then he'll take this across the 20. Five, couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And last time they got three points, but it was not field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not it's a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're head receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. No winning! No winning! Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. And he'll down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. In working, they'll stick with it on first down. And this time, successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. And he got off the end there very quickly. That play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. To throw on second down to Stanford. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. That was pretty. Executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you just spot that dead area so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place and usually it fired a bullet in there for the completion 38 yards on the scamper i hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive the holes have been large and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs 
Stafford now to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now a carry for one. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. We'll remind you once again, coming up at halftime, we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He's got stats and scores from around the NFL as we wrap up the first month of the season. No longer is he a rookie. The coach, a true veteran now. A crafty veteran. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last in brings up fourth. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This one from 35 yards away. to the football. It's blocked. Please tell me this doesn't come off as snarky. But that's a relative chip shot. I mean, you've got to be able to execute that one. I don't care what they design on the other side about trying to block the kick. That should be three points on the board. Yeah, and we've talked about it before. If you're out at 55, 60 yards, low trajectory from here, you get that thing up, this should be three. Yeah, I, there's nothing routine in football but this one really almost should be. Snap, hold, kick, ball through the post. Didn't happen that way. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the blocked field goal. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Prescott on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Prescott now 6 of 10 in this first down. He's got his guys a first down here. And again, it's Prescott. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jeff Swain as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys are in for six. Touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. <laughs> Bailey got the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 3. Bailey now to kick this one away. Now Abdullah, the return. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Stafford here. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. He was looking for Theo Riddick there. And now it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. On second and 10, Stafford. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Out of the gun. Stafford. It's caught. Jones. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. It's Matt Prater now. He's got the leg for this as he holds the NFL record with a 64-yarder back in 2013. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone. A lot to get to here this final day of September, so let's get started. We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Jared Goff, as sharp as you can be throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in the victory. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And at the moment, that game is tied with the visiting New York Jets. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This is fielded at the goal line. 
Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. Then he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. A first down carry by Elliott. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Here's Prescott. And he's got it to Hearns. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Prescott now, 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60% at its first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And take this one down to the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Cole Beasley, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off down to give him a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Bailey now for the extra point. kick this one away. Now Abdullah, the return. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. 
And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll run again with Blunt. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there as they move the chains. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Well, touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Here's Sam Martin now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over here at the 20. Dallas gets set to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. Fights forward for only about a yard to the 21. Second and nine now from the 21. They go to Elliott again. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Again to Elliott. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Play action now. Prescott. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield. Continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. Prescott from the gun on third. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Lions will take over. 
And Detroit getting set to go now. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Stafford on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. He has still not connected on a single pass in this second half. And right now, they're going through all the different reasons, the whys, the wherefores, bottom line. Got to find some completions in there and get their offense moving. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. And he dumps it off to Blunt. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He's going to let into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzier with a pick. Holding defense. Wait a second, they did not accept that after the incompletion. What? I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I, I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. Now Prescott over the middle complete. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come on. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Prescott now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. The give is to Elliott. because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Here's Bailey now for the extra point. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The completion good for three, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To the right and complete to Galladay. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down at Stafford. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Second and ten, Stafford again. Incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Tyrone Crawford. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a five, and it'll bring up fourth down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Go to 53. There we go. 190. Here's Elliott, and he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, they also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And in 20 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You got it. You got it. Then we're going to 53. 20 seconds. On second down.
down, Elliott. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Extra point try by Bailey. <laughs> Bailey got the extra point, and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. So that drive, four plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. kick this one away this one taken from the seven and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line and Detroit getting set to go now and last time out went for it on fourth down turned it over gave him great field position turned into six points so they've got to recover here Charles it's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events right the decision to go for it on fourth down caused all of that it caused oh a hit he lost the foot Stafford puts it on the ground it's picked up by the Cowboys and they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44 yard line and with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Hey, hey, hey. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And now he'll tuck it in low. A pretty decent gain on the tough before he's brought down at the 25. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Here go, 46. 46. This is Elliott. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Prescott now, and that is incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Prescott to throw it. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. But good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Throwing here, Prescott. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. 
Well, congratulations, Mr. Lucky. You know that's one that he would love to have back. That should have been picked off. Threw that one into a crowd. He's just so fortunate the defender couldn't react fast enough and get his hands up. One man in the backfield. That's Elliott on second and goal. Prescott. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. And they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that will extend this big lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Bailey now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson, four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third down, Stafford looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Lewis, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the cover, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Yeah. Now come the Cowboys. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. On third down, Elliott down right around the 25. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Dallas, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on.